Welcome back to Fundamental Checkmates. Today we're talking about balestromate. As always, we're going to start by looking at the theoretical position which I have in front of me. Then we're going to look at three real game examples. And in the end, you'll have a chance to try it for yourself. So here is the theoretical definition of balestromate. It's a mate that you give by doing some sort of crisscross design with a queen and a bishop. Very similar to Bowden's mate, but here there's a queen and a bishop and the king is out of squares. Now this is incredibly common for the queen and bishop to complement each other in this fashion. And so let's look at this in action. Here is our first example. White here is Magnus, not Magnus Carlsen, but a different Magnus. And in this position, White managed to play really well. They're, they got their pieces really active. And even though their king is not particularly the safest, well, the black king is really exposed as well. And here White actually has simply a checkmating attack. And the checkmating attack utilizes the idea of balestra mate. So give it a shot, pause the video. What do you think the idea is here to end the game immediately? Well, the move is queen to fa check. And it, frankly, it doesn't matter where the king goes, bishop to f5 will be checkmate. And as you can see, this is indeed Balestra's mate with the queen and bishop working in this crisscross manner. So a very nice application of this very common and practical checkmating pattern. Now we can take this to another game. And this was a game from 1957. And we can see if we skip to move 40 that, uh, well, it's a very complicated position. And white gets this really nice passed pawn. They activate their queen a little bit. And in this position after king to d7, well, guess what white is left with? A queen and a bishop and a very nice pawn. A really good combination to, well, in some cases, use balestra mate and end the game immediately. And here that is indeed possible. So again, you can pause the video and give it a shot. And now let's go over the answer. You promote here to a queen and drag the king over to e8, where it's very vulnerable. And here you can proceed by giving a check on e6. And after king to f8, uh, taking here with check, of course, is totally winning. Um, but if you want to be as precise as possible, which you always want to be, the correct move here is actually simply bishop to h6 checkmate. You already have balestra mate uh, on the board. And again, it is characterized by this crisscross mechanisms with the queen and bishop working together. Really nice checkmate, really nice way to give away the pawn, give away one of your, your big uh, trumps in the position, but of course, translate that into a checkmating attack. Now, if we move on, to a final example that we're going to go through together before I give you one for you to try by yourself. Uh, we see this position here where white has sacrificed some material. And uh, it's a very complicated position, but we reach a situation where white sacrifice seems to have paid off. They have really good pieces involved in the attack, especially the queen and bishop. So how can you use those two pieces and end the game? Try to give it a shot. Let's go over the solution. You start with queen to f6 check, and after king to e8, you give queen to e6 check. And now, I mean, in the game, black resigns, seeing that after king to f8 comes bishop h6 checkmate. And so here, this is actually a very nice and important point to make. You don't always have this uh, given to you on a gold plate. You have to sometimes set it up. So here, you can't immediately bring your bishop into the game. You have to first give this uh, check here, force the king onto a dark square, and now you've set up the, the, the checkmating scheme, and now it's possible bishop h6 checkmate. So again, this pattern of the bishop and queen giving a nightmare to the king. Now, right before we end the video, I want to give you a chance to apply what you just learned into another example. So here it is white to play, and white can use balester mate to give checkmate in this position, but you have to act really quickly because of course black has some serious threats of their own. So how does white use the bishop and queen, the only two pieces really that they can use and checkmate this king that seems to be relatively safe in this position. So comment down below what solutions you got. Subscribe if you're new around here, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.